don't like, Vada Fly gonna recap this and say Gotti caught a 30 on the John Road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy, y'all the game. Time has Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire fly. We used to rap it like that. Check, 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 check. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers that notification gang, ricegangclothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. If you haven't heard, I said this in one of the other joints um, a week or last week. That I do have a real job. I do have a real life. I've been offered to be in a position to go away for a couple months and make some real paper. Who's not going to do that? You'd be a fool. Um, but um, I see a subject that came up and I wanted to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? As far as uh, all of these rookies, the veterans, the big stage versus the small room, right? So it all started. Um, it's a couple of different things that I think once you have a culmination of a, a bunch of different things you can put it together and kind of get your thesis out of it so um easy to block captain i'll start there you're not top tier until the big stage says all the people who've been getting their ass whooped in the small rooms crying emoji crying emoji crying emoji even media acting like fanboys and basically saying that you know the narrative you know we love the word narrative is that the rookies can't perform on big stages until, I mean, the rookies are not top tier until they hit the big stage. Um, and he said even the media, you know, saying some media are acting like fanboys. Not myself, because um, I was one that said, we're watching Easy to Black Captain transition to a top tier MC in front of us. Like I said that after his battle with T-Top, because he makes the right decisions. He takes the right battles. He's not battling every week on Taco Bell, Tony, Battle League, and all of these dumbass cards that some of these rookies be doing. They be making a lot of these rookie mistakes that once you get booked for a battle or two and you're on URL, everybody's going to call your phone. Everybody wants you to battle. And some people just say yes to everything. Then they kill their stock because you see them 30 times a month. They battle on URL. If they get smoked, now they're obliterated. But... Easy to block captain is doing things the right way. He did have a lot of battles off URL before he got there. He did a lot of his, you know, street ball. Had a battle with clean paper. That's actually a good battle. Had the battle with twerk. Had a lot of other battles before you even, a lot of us even knew battle snake eyes and things like that. So that was one. Then Real Sick, salute to Real Sick um, and everything that he's got going on. He said, we ain't the new class. We the new top tier. Us new battlers been outshining y'all Top tiers all 2020. We produce better battles slash content than y'all. We ain't trying to sit at the cool table. We trying to knock y'all off of it. Y'all running out of options. Come get your spot taken. You know, and um, that's his opinion. He's saying that the rookies are producing better content than the veterans. And like people were objective to that. You know what I'm saying? One of the dudes in the comments, um, he's so frosty. Hey, he's frosty. Said B dot versus T top. Daylight versus Tay Rock. Beats alone, any battle in this rookie class has had all year. O Red vs. Chess, Danny vs. Twerk, Cal vs. Verb. And then he went on to say other battles that he felt like are better than the content that the rookies are producing. Now, I've been one to say this. Not all rookies are created equal. Just because everybody is battling under the same umbrella together, these guys are not equal. You have about maybe five or six that are at like the upper echelon, then you have maybe a mid or two guy, and then the rest, if we never saw a battle from them again, just being objective, I don't think anybody would care. Now, I'm not saying that a person is trash. I'm not saying nothing like that. I'm just saying that, do I personally think all of these guys would transition on the big stage? Hell no. Do I think some would? Yes, I do think that there are some MCs in this class that would transition to the big stage. Now, for instance, you got to have a certain charisma, a certain style, a certain aura to be able to handle battling in front of a thousand people. Just because we haven't seen battles in front of a thousand people in almost a year, we cannot forget when a rookie from Norfolk, Virginia, Av, and it's like the second take I done crushed. I got the munchies. Y'all want me? One, I 
I'm bringing the issue to you. I mean, if Tate go, I'm hitting you too. Y'all just gonna view her arm, swinging over rock like I'm skipped in my loo. <laughs> Battled on a big stage in front of a thousand people versus chess. He tore the building down. Is every rookie that came in with Av able to do that? Of course not. No way. Like, he controlled the venue the whole night. Line after line. Bar after bar. So, like, every single punch was on point that night. What? I get the tray out of the cave like Batman Butler. Like, that takes a certain level of talent. And we would be a fool to think that all of these rookies can do that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and this was the transition period from Av going from a rookie to a mid-tier to a low top tier now. It took a while. And you say, what is the top tier MC? Like, I've seen people have these debates. And a top tier MC is someone who can headline a card. Headline a big card. Not headline store madness or store legacy or none of that. Headline a volume. Headline a gnome. Headline a summer madness. Headline a double impact. There are people think that they're top tier. There's MCs who think they are, but they're not. Because honestly, it could be proven more so back when um, paid when paid uh, events was happening. Like you had to pay to get into the venue. You go to Urban Plaza, Sue Serves, The Goods, The Tay Rocks, The Averbs, The Hitmans. The Loaded Luxes, the Arsenals. These guys were selling out venues. Murder Mooks, you know, we're the legends, legendary guys. And like I said, this, this blog is not in any form, any way, shape, or form meant to be disrespecting or demeaning to any MC. I'm definitely trying to give you my, give you my thoughts. So, um, those guys, John John took a while to become a super top tier MC. John John was not considered a top tier MC by many until maybe two years ago versus the hollow battle and things like that. Like that transcended him to being a top tier MC. And he had to do a lot of these battles in front of large crowds. He had to battle against Hitman in front of a large crowd. The small rooms are dope. It is a way that we get to see some MCs. We get to watch a guy like Real Sick who probably if the, if the big stage is around, they might, he might have got overlooked. He easily could have probably got overlooked. A dude like Easy the Black Captain, his style will probably correlate to a big stage because the, the whole, the energy, the way he talks down to people, he told, uh, he said, he told T-Top, you know, you said you got more fiend and more fiends. How's that when you a bitch and you got 50 bricks and Mitch died for 14? Like that type of stuff, it translates well to big crowds and this is just from being a fan of battle rap and been seeing it and then doing this media shit for about the last four or five years so um there's other guys Luke Castro he has a high energy style he has a high whip the pot like he the wild strong not stronger than me though but you know like the wild strong and all that like that would translate well I, I, I took some time to um look at the uh ultimate madness right the new Ultimate Madness that came out. And it had Squeako, Your Honor, Gunpowder Pat, uh, Rubando, Real Sick, Jada Nightwing, Kid Chaos, Lou Castro, Fonz, Jay Kruger, Easy to Block Captain, Don Marino, Big Hands, Brooklyn Hands, Bad News, Ace I mean. If I'm thinking, just being honest, out of this whole list of people, maybe five? probably would really be seen at that next level jada nightwing jada nightwing is one of the like he he has a style that's original he's battling against new jersey twerk coming up i have no doubts in him now you know sometimes he sometimes takes rounds off and has had slippity slippity blippities but he knows now that he's being watched from a higher perspective so he's probably going to be doing a little bit better i would hope so I think Jada Nightwing, I've seen him battle in front of a bigger crowd on a Born Legacy. He did his thing. Real sick. He's battled in London. He's been tested already. He could, he could, he's going to transition. Um, Kid Chaos, he, he's, he hasn't, I haven't seen him in front of a huge crowd, but he has a good personality, a good cadence, and you would hope that he could be able to transition. Lou Castro, I already spoke about. 
Uh, Fonz, yes. Punchline Styles, people always love Punchline Styles. Easy to block Captain, yes. Uh, Don Marino's got work to do because even though I've seen him in front of a large, larger crowd. Bro, clown, I got the barrel now. Bah! Stepping over the body with the subvertible down. Versus Prep, he has to become more fluid and he has to find his lane because he not only he battled in front of a bigger crowd, but when he got in front of the stage, got bigger. He battled on the caffeine stream. The stage got bigger. See, some people, they don't understand, right? That when you're battling on a lot of these app-only events and things like that, they're cool, but I know people specifically who have the app and they will name seven or eight battles that they never even watched. Like, they just, they just don't watch them. You'd be like, yo, did you see this person? Nah, I ain't peeped that, man. I didn't even know it dropped. But the caffeine stream is a different, it's trending on Twitter. The every word that you say, people are tweeting about. It's live. It's a totally different experience than these app-only battles. I know people who only watch recaps. They don't even watch the um, the, the the battles on on the, on the app. They'd be like, "Man, whatever you say on the recap is good enough for me." Now, is that a, a good way of going about it? Probably not. But a lot of people are entertained by the recaps. So. Um, Don Marino's got to find, he's got to find his way because he knew he was battling Rum Nitty. He had a Rum Nitty on an off league. I don't even know the name of it. URL took the battle, moved it to URL. And this was months. He had a couple months knowing that he had Rum Nitty coming up. And what he came with versus Rum Nitty, who had had two months off, that's just not good enough to cut it on the big stage. Like, it's just, it's not enough to cut it on the big stage because we people think that we say this from a place from a condescending place like we talking down like just talking shit it's not that it's that we've seen this movie before and when you go out there and you get smoked it's just different man then y'all be mad at us like and we've seen you all even try to force people on us like literally like you have an MC that loses all their battles but they keep on getting battle after battle after battle and we're to a point now where we're like why what is going on? Like, so that's the thing. You can't force MCs on us. Like, when you force an MC on us, and you'll see all the comments, all the motherfucking comments. This nigga's dying. This nigga's dying. Three oh, three oh, three oh. And then when you look at the uh, the the app afterwards, you see MCs losing by eight, nine hundred votes. How are you losing a battle by eight hundred votes, five hundred votes, seven hundred votes? And they think that they're ready for a bigger stage or for the next level. It's like, dude, if you're losing this much on the app, what happens when you transition to a bigger stage in this front of a thousand people? They're not going to hold it down for you. They're not going to be calm for you. They're going to boo you. They're going to boo you right there on the spot. And Smack is going to be begging for people to calm down and stop booing because we've seen it happen before. You got to be lightning out the gate. You got Man, it's a different monster when you're in front of those big crowds. Now, like I said, there are people who I feel like, and I feel like, are going to be able to do it. Was everybody that came in with Geechee able to transition from to a big stage? No. Was everybody that came in with New Jersey Twerk? This nigga came in with 15 niggas. He came in with a whole, a whole crew. And he's the only one. Out of all the Goonies, there's only one person that transitioned to a big stage. D think of it from that perspective. One person out of a whole crew transitioned to a big stage. They put Jack on the big stage versus John John. That didn't go too well. One person out of a nine, ten people group. That's 10% of the group will ever transition to a big stage. And it's about that length. When you look at... You cannot seriously think that out of this whole new class of people, all of them are going to transition to a big stage. What? That would never happen. In Av's class, the only people that transitioned to a big stage was him and Mike P. That was it. That was it. Jerry West, it took Jerry West years to finally start getting top tier MCs. It took him almost four years to get Arsenal, to start getting names. And it took him four years calling out Smack and then having to get those names. Like dissing him in a powerful third round about why am I why am I still where I'm at and he had to level up and get better before he got to those names so when you think of top tier 
out of like rookies and things like that. Twerk became a top tier because of the star power, because of the things that the battles that he got. And he was winning battles along with having good battles. Then he, you know, he had his slips and his, his mess ups and things like that. But, you know, I, I'm not here to highlight anything negative right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to just speak on the fact. And the fact is that everybody ain't got it, man. It just, I'm sorry. Now, are these rookies good? Yes. Have they surprised? Yes. Have they done better than people expected? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. But that does not equal Irvin Plaza, <laughs> Hammerstein Ballroom. It just, it just does not equal that. That ain't this and this ain't that. But, because you can't tell me. You cannot tell me. Some of these guys haven't even proven themselves in the small caffeine rooms. They have not proven themselves. Jay Kruger disappeared. I don't even know where he's at. Uh, Your Honor, he's very sometimey. He he's just very sometimey. Where he's not he's not even bringing real clean battles. Gunpowder Pat, that's not translating to no big stage. Rubando, sorry, I'm I'm not hating. I'm just I'm just calling it like I call it. Big hands, Brooklyn hand, that's not translating to a big stage. I'm sorry, it's not. It is. What? Uh, Ace I mean, very big question mark. He's got to clean it up. He's got to clean it up, though. And I think, like, I know a lot of people try to give Ace flag. All he does is interviews and things like that. Um, he was on a big stage versus Snake Eyes. He did his thing in there. I thought he did his thing. I thought he did serviceable. He, he did good enough. He won to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's a big difference between what Av did on his first, first big stage than what some of these other guys have done on theirs. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's different. It's a different brand, it's a different market. And when you're putting these guys in front of a thousand people, they are brutal. It, it gets ugly. But um, I think we have to like really, really take a step back and have some appreciation for what these guys have done. Because, you know, there have been a couple people who are potential stars that came out of this. There are. These niggas is cooking. I ain't gonna hold you. Some of these niggas cooking. But then you gotta look at the quality of veterans that they're getting. They're not getting the top, top, top upper echelon of veterans. They're getting the B-Magics. They're getting, you know what I'm saying, the guys that are, that, they're cool, but they're not getting no big, big, big names. Now, easy the black captain is probably gonna start getting bigger names. You know what I'm saying? He got Cortez, he got Danny, he got T Top, um, real sick. He got uh, Chilla Jones. That's that's a good one. And he got a uh, motherfucking uh, the other one, B Magic. But like I said, that's that. Um, Kid Chaos got JC, but JC done battled every single one of these niggas. JC battled uh, Riggs. He battled uh, Kid Chaos. He just battled Ryder. He's probably got me next week. He he battles everybody, but he brings it in all of his battles. He does bring it. Um, but I think uh, some of these other guys are gonna do good. They deserve more looks. I think I'd like to see Lou Castro versus some more upper tier names. Let's see where he how he can hold it. Let's see let's see what he get what he could do. Um, Fonz, I like to see Fonz against some more names. Uh, you throw real sick in there against some more names and easy to block captain. I think he's the one that's really showed. If I had to. <sighs> easy to block captain. Real sick. Kid Chaos after his battle versus Saga. Um, in the battle with Saga, uh, Kid Chaos showed it was levels. Like he, he really had a dope pen. Uh, he deserved more from Saga. Saga should have been more prepared in that battle. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it just. For where Saga has came from to that point that he was at versus Kid Chaos, you know, I thought it was a battle that he could have really, like, you know, showed better. Like, I think he deserved, he deserved better for himself. And I know a lot of people, including myself, have given him a hard time about that battle. But I look at it from a perspective of if this is what you want to do and you want to do this at this level, then you're going to have to be able to pull your bootstrap up, get out there and get through battles clean. If that means you're not taking battles on other leagues, then that's what it means. But it's don't. What does it mean to gain the world and lose your soul? 
You gain the world by battling all of these other leagues and places and then you come on URL and don't have your best. You should make sure that your best is taken care of at home. But other than that, man, um, this blog was a little bit longer than I probably wanted it to, but I did have a lot of things on my mind that I wanted to get out, you know what I'm saying? And um, lastly, you know, people was talking about JC. JC, he showed that he could do it on bigger stages. JC did it versus uh, Newborn. I mean, I understand it was just Newborn, but he did it versus him, and he did it versus Romney, and he did it in some other battles, too, on bigger stages. So he can do this on bigger stages, but he's just a small room guy. But other than that, Salute to every single one of y'all out there, man. Peeping this content, keeping this shit going. Gang.